Is there any reason why you pick certain guns and or armor? What is the priority stat when you choose your stuff? You know, first and foremost, I think you need to find a gun that you enjoy. I, I think that's probably the most important thing. You gotta figure out what you like to, to run. What's your play style? What do you enjoy doing? Are you an aggro player? Are you someone that likes to sit back? And you know, you gotta find your play style first. Aside from that, you kind of want to gauge your risk and reward, obviously. Best case scenario over time, run tier sixes. But if that's not in the cards every single time, or you don't really want to invest that much in every single run, then you can kind of change it up. I don't go anything lower than tier four, but anywhere from tier four to tier six in terms of like armor and whatnot. There's a couple of go-tos that I enjoy. In terms of body armor, honestly, anything from the 6B13, the IND-401, the SEK Fortress, all really great. The things that you're going to be kind of looking at in terms of like, what's the difference? Why choose one versus the next? One is the weight of the armor. So first and foremost, this is 6.8. Now if we look over to this one, this one is 7. If you look at this other tier 4 right here, it's 11.2. So how heavy do you want your armor to be? The other thing that you're looking at is what does it protect? Does it just protect your chest? Is it upper abdomen, lower abdomen? your arms, etc. There's all these different factors that you're going to be looking at. The other thing is movement speed. So how much do you want your armor to affect your ergo, your movement speed? How mobile do you want to be? That plays a part into your decision. And again, that kind of depends on what do you want to do? You want to be on a frontliner run and gun, really high ergo, you know, and weaving in and out, those types of things. You got to make that decision. So any one of those three, I typically go. A lot of tier five armors are great. The Samurais are pretty popular. Anything from the BT-6 heavy body armor or maybe the BT-101 or maybe the full body armor. It just, again, depends on how much you want to spend. A really budget helm, SH-12. If I'm going super budget, that's what I'm going to go. SH-12 right off the rip. If I'm wanting almost like a daily driver, I'm looking at the helicopter helmet or the dark wing duck helmet. It's uh, one of the new ones. It's a tier four helmet. It says that it's got poor hearing, but honestly, I think it's better than it says it is. But it's got a tier four face shield, which is great. So I really like that one. There are other ones along the way that you can go like this is an option, but I'd probably go from the helicopter helmet all the way up to the AN95 with a face shield. That's kind of what I go to. Again, SH-12, helicopter helmet, Matska 2. And 95. I'm probably not going to run a blast helmet in something like where I need more audio. I would run this in like armory where it's a bit more intimate. Ammo is one of those things that, you know, sky's the limit. Ammo is probably the most important thing that you're going to buy. And you got to kind of decide where you want to lie in terms of cost, what the gun you're running, what's your pen that you want. Really, the things that you're looking for in ammo is first and foremost, the pierce level. One of the most important things because you that's going to give you a better chance of piercing armor than the base damage for that bullet. How much the velocity is, you obviously get a little bit of penalty and bonus with accuracy or recoil, and then also your penetration damage and your armor damage. So just got to take all those things into consideration and see where you want to sit. I don't really go anything lower than a level three pierce. Obviously higher the better. It just depends on how much money you want to spend, what mode you're running, and what you think you might run into. So those are all things to take into consideration. And then the other stuff is pretty like straightforward. It's like your chest rig. What do you want it to be? In my opinion, the B3 Universal is the most cost-effective chest rig. If you're wanting something for a good bang for your buck, Go with that or you can just do something really cheap if you're doing rags or riches it's really up to you backpack the most cheapest bang for your buck is medium camping backpack if you want something a little bit larger i really like the chapman military but the best backpack imo is the 926 field backpack obviously the ral heavy military is really really good too but the 926 is great you know, depending on the helmet that you choose headset might be relevant obviously gs2s are the best but sometimes it can almost be annoying and a perfect example is you put gs2s in armory it's terrible like it's so loud everything is just overwhelming and for me anyways i don't like it that's kind of the breakdown of the different items and what i i kind of uh, look at in terms of my choices